Did you know that after a stroke, 120 million brain cells die every hour? Well, timing is crucial, so what do you need to know? Well, let's ask a man who knows. This is Dr. Valib Janardin. No, Janardin. I practiced it, and then I said I was going to get it wrong, and then I got it wrong. All right, Janardin of the Texas Stroke Institute at Medical City. You're the man who knows about stroke, and as you call them, they're brain attacks. The reason we call it brain attacks is that they're very similar to heart attacks. When you have a blockage in a blood vessel in the heart, you get a heart attack with chest pain. Whereas if you have a blockage in a brain blood vessel, it's a brain attack. And what happened with the, all the cutting edge technologies and therapies 15 years ago with heart attacks is now evolving for brain attacks. So we're in an exciting phase for treatments of brain attacks. Well, one of the most important things you mentioned is timing. It's harder to know when you're the victim of a stroke because you said with heart attacks there are there are positive results you're you're gaining pain you're gaining tightness in places but with a stroke it's a negative effect. Explain to us how we know we're having a stroke. Correct. When you have a heart attack, you have a positive symptom, just as you said, where you have chest pain, so people wake up with a chest pain and they know they have a heart attack. Whereas with a brain attack, you have loss of symptoms, so loss of speech, loss of vision, loss of strength, loss of sensation. So people, when they have these symptoms of stroke, they have a tendency to say, well, let me just wait and see if this would go away. And so an acronym FAST, which stands for if the face gets uneven, if the mom starts drifting down, if the speech comes out in a very slurred way, then it's time to call 911, F-A-S-T. And yes. so remembering that is an easy way to understand what the symptoms of stroke are and brain attacks to come to the hospital quickly. Well, another thing that, that you all are trying to do is establish this network of, of, of care for stroke centers all the way from a level one to a level three. Explain to us what the difference is between a, a basic center and a comprehensive center. True. Stroke is a community disease. You cannot treat it in, 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 in isolation. It has to be a system of care, just like what trauma systems of care we had. And uh, a level three uh, stroke support facility is a hospital that can identify a stroke quickly and send it to a higher level of care. Right. Recognize it and move you out to where you need to go. Correct. A either by air ambulance or land ambulance. And a level two primary stroke center is a center wherein we can give the clot dissolving drug through a peripheral vein in the arm, and it's called TPA. And that we can only do up to three hours from stroke symptom onset. And then you have a level one comprehensive stroke center wherein we can actually take catheters right up to the place where there's a clot and either dissolve it or pull it out with cool therapies. This is an interesting new technology. There's a lot of new technology here. We've got a picture of it here, a couple of different things that you can do to take care of a stroke. Now this is the corkscrew method, right? Yes, so this is one of the ways in which through a catheter you can have a corkscrew device just like a champagne bottle opener and it basically helps you pull out the clot and there are other things like a vacuum cleaner that can suck out Sucks the clot right or baskets out. that can pull out the clot. Now that's the blockage stroke. The other kind of stroke is when you have a brain aneurysm, right? And you also have some new technology to help that. Correct. It's, a, it's called a bleeding type stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke where the blood vessel bursts and we can actually take tiny spring-like coils and put it into the aneurysm and actually fill it up as you can see and this actually disconnects the aneurysm and saves the patient. Wow, okay, so lots of new technology and lots of uh, work in getting this system of comprehensive care set up. The key is you gotta get there in time. Absolutely, in Dallas County and Medical City and in, in Collin County and Medical Center of Plano, we're trying to build this comprehensive stroke program to be able to have a system of care to help our community. All right, F-A-S-T, if you need more information, you can call Medical City at 972-519-1221 or log on to medicalcityhospital.com. Up next, an encore from Johnny Lloyd Rollins and the band.